Um, well, it's not just mine, but there are a number of these groups where, it, like 501c4s that I was just discussing, where all you find is a P.O. box. I mean, and there is a, like literally nothing else to go on. There's one that's called the um, Patients Committee. No, I'm sorry. Um, take this over again, I guess. Okay. Um, okay, I'll try another unusual thing, okay? Um, <laughs> Um, okay, the, the strangest thing that I've seen, I don't know, there are a lot of very strange and hinky things going on in campaign finance right now. Um, maybe one of the more unusual things I saw was I took a, a personal tour of um, the Romney Super PAC, uh, an unguided tour, I have to admit, um, where I went over to their office building. And um, there, um, right next to the Romney Super PAC, are offices for another a, a number of other campaign um, groups that are much more closely associated with the candidate. So you've got side by side the outside groups who are supposed to be independent and the inside groups who are working for the candidate. And while they are legally separate, they're sharing the same bathroom. Um, you know what you get from this is that a lot of these regulations are kind of a joke. 